And welcome to this week's edition of the John Peacock Coach Show. I'm John Masoni here with Venice Indian head football coach John Peacock. And Coach, uh, rivalry game. We've had two bo two back to back. Uh, Manatee High School came into Powell Davis Stadium on Friday night. Uh, really nice tonight for football. The weather's starting to get a little nicer. It was really good, and a really good Manatee football team came in, and uh, Indians prevailed 56 to 24. Yeah, I think um, Friday night was probably one of one of the more complete games that we played. Uh, I think that we're definitely trending um, upward as far as our play. I think we're getting better at the, uh, at the right time of the year. That's always You always want to be getting better uh, instead of getting worse throughout right. the year. And sometimes, you know, you look at these teams that, um, you know, started off the year hot and then they start to cool off. And you never want to be that, that team. You want to be the team that's getting better each and every week. And I think that uh, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're, getting, we're doing that each week, even though – you know, we, I felt like we left some points on the on the field. Um, you know, we had a turnover late in the game. We um, we had another interception that we could have turned into points. Yeah, and that that didn't happen. Um, we had a bad series on offense the first half, where we we had to end up punting. So there were some things that we could definitely get better at um, and just be a little bit more proficient. You know, we're chasing excellence, so we always look at the things that we can improve on and. Um, you know, definitely room for improvement. Yeah, and progression on both sides of the ball as well. Because you look at it and you said, okay, well, who's, who's, who starts off at a higher level? Maybe offense had a little bit more success. Right. Defense was a little – but now it looks like everybody's sort of kind of yeah, progressing is, to, you know, together. Defense takes a little bit of time, you know, when you've got a whole, a whole new unit to figure out, you know, get comfortable how people play and um, how, how everything's going to work out. And, you know, you got to really kind of – defensively, you got to kind of trust that everyone's doing their job. Um, and not try to do someone else's job, and I think that um, we are we are we are actually playing better um, on all phases of the game. We had we had uh, besides the one kickoff return for a touchdown, uh, I thought our kicking game was really really yeah. good. Yeah, um, directionally in the, yeah. in the corner, it was it was placed. Other well. than other than the touchdown, um, I thought everything was good. So we are. We're getting close. We're getting close to where we need to be. Yeah, like I said, you, you're right. It seems like the pieces are coming together. Like you not, you know, you don't pick out player here and there, but it's like all of a sudden, like oh, Carter Dalton had a big game, you right. know, and, and then and then Ashari Charles has a, a big, and guys that there was maybe weren't hitting the stat line. They're all starting. They're all starting to find their place. Right. Dalen Platt had a great two two pass the, the, the defenses, and, and so you start seeing these the, the names are looking around like oh, you see everybody is now contributing right. on the defensive side and of, offensively. I mean. Um, Jaden is, is finding people, you know, th there's there's always this on the receiving side. There's never been less than six guys who have touched the ball uh, from from him. Yeah, and he's he's has he's been having a great year. And um, but we kind of knew that going in, like he can he can throw the ball very well and has great velocity and he makes good decisions pre snap. Uh, very smart player. So, you know, he had another great game. We had we had two drops or two or two or three drops. Uh, but still, with that, he had a, a you know fantastic output. Yeah. You know, four touchdowns, and um, you know you can always uh, how I judge of a quarterback and our passing game is you can tell how, how I call plays and um, you know if I trust him. Uh, I think I think there was three fourth down conversions um, that were through the air Friday right. night. Right. Two or three. I'm not sure the exact number. You probably know mm -hmm. better than that. Yeah. But, um, when you're able to trust somebody and be able to make those calls and, you know, know that, hey, we have this in the passing game and I can trust trust the quarterback to get it there and I can trust the receiver to catch it. Yeah, no doubt about that. And he said the, the, the fourth, those third and fourth down, they're, they're drive savers. Right. you got you got to be able to make sure you can trust the guy to throw it and the guy to catch it means a lot. Um, probably player of the game, though, let's say Gator Wilder, though, in, in regards to the, to the output. Uh, you it's mean, kind of hard not to – to look at his stat line and realize that he averaging 20 yards a carry it was uh, eight carries, 162 yards, a couple touchdowns, really, really, really showing what he what he's capable of in the last few games. Yeah, I think you'd look at the last two. He's 18 carries for 300 plus. Yeah, what uh, seven touchdowns? Maybe seven touchdowns. Um, yeah, close to that. Yes. I mean, yeah, just and that's w one thing that's really, really good about that is that you know we're we hope when we're playing a long season here and. Um, you know, if you have to give your back 30 carries a game, you know, that's that's going to wear on them. Uh, it's just a matter of a matter of fact. It's going to happen. Like you're, they're going to get they're going to get worn down a little bit. And um, 
for him to go in a game like we had Friday night and have eight carries? Eight. Eight carries. And, and him and Alvin both had eight. Last, last game, he had both had six or whatever it was, and they seem to be very – I know it's not by design. You're trying to get the, the equal amount of, of, of series, but the rep, the, the carries, right. just, that's just a So that means he got, he got eight carries Friday night, and he was tackled four times. Yes. Because he had how many touchdowns? He had, he had two. Oh, he had, I, I had three. Yeah, yeah, okay. So two or three. I forget which one. Right. I think he had three, in the, and then the first play of the game, he, he was out of bounds. He didn't yeah. get tackled. I know that one. So he got tackled four times. So you're going you – know, you one of your top backs is only getting tackled four times, and that kind of output. That's that's where you want to be. You know, you're saving his body. You're saving, you know, it's, it's gonna that's gonna help out in the playoffs. And I, and I always go back and look and see like see I look at Alvin's carries. You know, I'm trying to see there's like there's like three carries in, in his stat line that could have been sixty right. yarders. Like right. Just that one extra move or shake yep. a tackle one here or there. And then in, in Gators too, like at the uh, I want to say right at the end of the first half, I mean he was literally. Uh, a t-shirt pull away from breaking another 65 yard right you know right. that could have really you know blown, blown the doors off uh, right before half but again uh 56 24 a final uh you can't you, you gotta think that's just one of those ones that you don't expect to for that to be the case you know manatees is a was a very good team well coached um but when you're in a role like that it's it's more than possible to, to put up numbers like that yeah i think our kids had something to prove friday night yeah no doubt uh, with that, we'll take a break here. We're here. Actually, before I forget, we're here at Bogey's. And once again, we tried something different. You went my route from last week with I the did. Cuban sandwich. It looked good, so I had to try it. And I did the Philly roll-up, which is sort of you – know, one of the underrated things about Bogey's is their their pizzas and their calzones. Yes. They're really, really good. So it's kind of a calzone but with a Philly cheesesteak stuffing. So you guys get a chance to come try it. It's really good. With that, we'll take our first break down, come back, and do the highlights from Friday night's game. And always when you have that many scores, there's a lot of highlights. So we'll, we'll look at the highlights from Friday night's game at Manatee right after these messages. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And we're back here on the John Peacock Coaches Show. And as we went to break last time, Coach, I mentioned, you know, 56 points and there's always good highlights. So I think we'd probably get it get to them before we run out of time. Let's take a seat. No doubt. We came out a uh, good series, had great tempo. You see, we uh, we had a five-yard pin to start the game, and uh, Jaden found Barksdale right there, a nice throw and catch. That's, that's nice to get that first rhythm catch. Yep. Jace had, had a nice he game, did too. Have a nice a big game. touchdown pass. Um, and right here we come back to Gasati, and Gasati had a had a nice catch, and he has another nice catch coming up. Um, he had another good game too. He had a touchdown, and then they're, they've seen the beat. Zacharles stole the show. A little they were bit. taking turns having good games. Now they're they're mimicking. Now they're, yeah. they're they're the same thing in the in the, in the game. And then there you get again is Gasati. A nice big game there, and then coming up, I think Matulovic, uh has a big big catch here. For yes, 50, 53 yard 53 touchdown. yard touchdown. Yep. Double move, right? I think it was a double move. Double move, yep. And I they saw Jaden pumping a little bit more. Like, he was really yep. selling them. He sold it there, and then boom. Got over top. Nice catch, and uh, finishes off. You know, they they thought they could man up our receivers. I didn't think that. I thought they were going to have issues um, playing man with our receivers, and I think uh, it kind of showed up. Especially when you got four receivers out there. You, right. you, know, that's, you don't usually have four top-level guys that can cover all those guys. You know, defensively, uh, another another good game by Ashari, good game by Chris Chris Lee. Uh, Daly had a nice game Daly inside. Daly had a nice game, yes. They were and, and there then, were there was a couple times when they got to the quarterback and they all got there, so it was kind of hard to give anybody uh, the one sack on it. And then, like you said, uh, Platt in the secondary and um, Lester in the secondary had good games. You know, they, you have those guys that can shut the corner down. You see, that was yeah. that play right there. That was caused by coverage with a uh, right. Platt he right had there. a he had a role, yeah. yeah. Chris Lee did a good job getting pressure on the quarterback. There's another. There's a breakup Pass there. Pass breakup. Yeah, because that, that yeah. was a good throw, and he all he could do was knock it out. He, he they did a good job in execution. He did a good job of knocking it out of there. 
I don't want to say this is the only series we didn't score on. Um, Gator has a nice carry here. This is one I was talking about. He didn't get tackled, so right. I'd say he only got tackled four times. <laughs> but you know, he's he's so dynamic right now, and I think I think what's going on is he's fresh, you know, and you know his body's fresh. He hasn't been getting beat up, and finally we get a good punt. Yeah, here. a really good punt. And then we when we screw it up, we got a personal foul, but we uh, got inside to stop them. Could almost had a chance for a safety there, but get a stop inside the ten. But they end up, you know, getting fifteen yards on top of that. But great punt and uh, great coverage. I was surprised that he got he took it from the in, and brought it back into the end zone. Yeah, me too. And there's a their quarterback. He he did a nice job. And you see right there, there's three guys. Yeah, you defensively know, we played right great. There. Coach Shannon, Coach Wyline, Coach Hire, Coach Coach. Uh, um, Hatler and and Coach uh, Jamie did a great job of preparing these kids for the game Friday. And the packet cl collapses Another sack there. there. You got Daly on the sack on that one, and it's like you see a couple more later on. There, he's like, "There's three guys, two guys. Everybody's either in their face or or they're or they're definitely putting them on the ground." And he was a good looking quarterback too. He did a nice job. Yep, nice play there by Platt. A minimal gain on third and long for a screen. That we were just in possession position all night. They did. Quarterback was a good good player. Uh, this was fourth down here, and uh, you'll see Alvin. I think it was fourth and two, early on. I just felt like uh, they haven't seen this formation. I just felt like we could get something done here. Yeah, and it broke early. up. And like, like I said, it, and you see that he had a cutback there. It could have been a gone. really big game. That's what yeah. I mean. He had a twelve yard run where I thought he was gone right away, and then just again, just somebody got from behind. That's a good play. That was a, that was a nice throw yeah. and catch right great, there. Great, great throw, great catch, good route. Um, you know, everyone everyone was on the same page. All receivers ran good routes there, and we had good protection as well. You know? And whatever they, they, you know, they're looking the ball in this week too, which sometimes they, you yep. know, got a little bit ahead of themselves, but they, that was really nice. Another throw and catch there by Barksdale. I think Barksdale had four catches. He maybe. had four catches, yes. Yep, here's Gator. Just pulling away yep. from him right there. I mean, you just see, like, it's just really smooth and – I was telling everybody, I'm like, you know, Zakarl's really fast, and it, but he's got football speed. Like when yeah. he he's he he he's faster than everybody in a football uniform. Like <laughs> it seems like at least. Again, defensively, we, we did a great job getting to the ball and getting off blocks, and it kind of established a new line of scrimmage every snap. And I'll tell you, statistically, the D line had more tackles than the linebackers, and that's that's a nice thing to see. You know, they're not getting to the this second is a level. Heck of a move right yeah. there, like this. I mean, Zakarl is special with that ball. He's in his stumbling hands. and go, yep. kept going, and then I like they, everybody downfield coming come yep. to block for him. You know, I mean, we we you know, we're we're dummies if we don't try to get the ball in two's hands as much as we can. Um, you know, he's he's just special with the ball. He may make you miss and could be well, a well, could I'm be sure, a touchdown anytime. I'm sure the punt return is going to be on here. So that's, oh, yeah. that was on there as well. Again, I just thought we did a great job getting off the ball there and just establishing a new line of scrimmage. Yeah, and again, an O line, you know, each week, you know, progression, progression, getting better. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice play right yep. there. Great job. We, we actually ran the wrong route. We didn't even know what the play was called. So that was, <laughs> we kind of got lucky there. Well, sometimes, you know, they, just, hey, I don't know what I'm, I may not be in the right spot, but I'm going to get open and maybe he'll well, see. Well, they didn't me. know it was a pass. That's the problem. <laughs> To him, actually. He's, all, he's the only one that we were one man route. I see Ashari the, here. That's, yeah. that's what you were seeing, you were hoping to see from yep. Ashari all year. Great closing speed. And, he, and a great angle to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the spot, you know what I mean? Really yep. great angle. And a good run. This is Gator. right before half. This is what I'm talking yeah. about. One shirt pull away from. If that guy doesn't grab his shirt, that's another touchdown. Yeah. Good. And that's that's when we had 30 seconds left in the half, and we just said we'll we'll run it a few times, and he almost broke this one too, right, right, right. there. That means one one little one little thing away, and we were able to to make a throw in the end zone um, or attempt one, and we didn't get a chance to make it happen. Again, Ashari backside making a play. They went to the big back. They had three backs. Twenty. Yeah, and that's one the with kid. The main guy. That's Twenty's the guy from uh, Braden River. Yeah, the big. He's, he's, a, he's a he's a he's a load for sure. Great play by Seed, third and short um, to start the third quarter. 
Yeah, three and out, which is a great yep. way to start when you get that possession. And I think we were we were we scored every possession um, the second yeah. half. Yeah. I don't think we had any punts or turnover on downs. We had the fumble, that's about it. That was a great throw and catch by uh, Jaden to Ryan Matulovich. Another good one right there. Fourth that's, down. Yes. Big fourth down play. That was one of the, the throws I was talking about. And again, he. It, it, There's another fourth down to four. It, it, same sound, drive. it sounds simple, but he made it past the sticks. Yeah. How many times guys cut it short and they fall down and they're like half a yard short? Fourth down to four here. This was tight. I mean, we barely got it in here. Boom. Right there, right? Yeah. right. So yeah, so that's that's back to back fourth down plays and, and you uh, successful on both of them. Again, another sack. Galloway. Everyone kind of got on got on action Friday night. Yeah, I mean he like I said, he's another one that his stat line definitely grew this week as well. As a Shari game, just putting a yeah. load of pressure on the quarterback. Yeah. He's he he caused the, the early throw on the screen. That's uh that's pretty impressive. Because like I said, if he's if he's taking the right angles and taking the right, you know, he's he's his straight ahead speed is is, is receiver like. And here's CJ's uh, punt return for a touchdown. Yeah. And nearly got a the block there. It's the first one we, we well he didn't catch it. We got a nice bounce and then that I mean, was it right there. He just makes people miss. Yeah. I mean, he sets them up. Once they said once that head goes back, it's over. Uh, I'm, that was that was seed. Seed, yeah. Didn't block him. You know what I mean? Kind of got in the way, and that's that's. Maturity and that's understanding the yeah. rules. You know what I mean. That's pretty good to do that, but no doubt that's you know he's just he's got unbelievable speed. He can go. With, he can just he just flies on that field. There another almost a sack by Daly, but then the other three guys <laughs> pile up right there. <laughs> well, we did a good job getting in there and uh, causing pressure on that guy. It's always hard to figure out, should he get part of the sack? He, he, he did stop, but then the other guys had put him on the ground. So Another one there. Another one right there. Yep. And we got the fumble there. Yeah, Galloway got the, got the fumble caused, and then I think it was Jones who ended up uh, giving the fumble recovery. Yeah, there it is. There's Gator's other touchdown. And you said just, boom, the quick bounces and just. Oh, that wasn't a touchdown. There's what tackle they have. Probably upset he got tackled. <laughs> but he just, you know, it's just he just he just moves around and like he just he goes sideways as fast as he goes forwards. There it is. There's his touchdown here. And that's the other running back. He's playing linebacker yeah. So you know he's 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 pulling away from him. Uh, not to mention extra points eight for eight. That's always a good sign to yeah, see that. I don't, have we missed one this year? Yes, one, we but have? I think it was a bad snap. I don't think it was a miss, but I know we missed one. I think I'm trying to think if I remember what something happened. Something, something good happens here. Yeah, that that's was another pass, pass breakup. breakup yeah. yeah. And there you see, they yeah, were cramping a lot. Oh, man. A lot of cramping. That's, I thought they had uh, the, the guru on their strength program. I can't believe they had that many people. There's a Shari cramping. with another sack. Yeah, it was, how, do, it, how do they have eight, ten people cramping? We don't have one. I don't know. And it wasn't that hot that night no. either. Here's Alpha nice run. Nice run. Yeah. There seemed like there's no hole there, and he just, poof, he's right through it. And you got Ryan Downs in the game. Went jumbo to, to kind of seal the deal. Um, you know, just kind of line up, here we come. It's effective, though. I mean, yeah. you jump, it's not like you're slowing it down. I mean, you can you can run that all day. There's another touchdown by Zakarl here. Yeah, it looks like he, can, he, gets, he gets bumped. It looks like he gets shot yep. out of a cannon there. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's definitely a special, special player for sure. And that's the thing too. I mean, he's got he's got sort of like awkward balance, like a deer kind of thing. Yeah. And then when he yeah. but when he when he gets moving, it's immediate. Let he that he's up to top speed. Great hands, great teammate. You know, never the kid never says anything. This is interesting here. Yep, got two personal fouls, so might as well 
attempt to onside kick, great kick, great recovery, goes 11 yards, and we're able to recover it. Uh, front line did, did their job, and, you know, we were able to get get right back, you know, and we're getting getting close to having um, a running clock here, but I think this is where we fumble out of the back of the end zone. It might be. I don't know what they were talking about there. I th- I don't think they – I think they thought that, that there, there was – they were shielding them from the ball, but isn't that what you're trying to do anyway? You know, so yeah, yeah. Great the, run by our freshman. Ran very, very hard. He's a hard runner. Very hard runner. Absolutely. He's going to be uh, very, very special when. Uh, yeah, we when fumbled it's his yeah. turn. Down by the goal line. Good tackle by Eli Seed. This this is this got called back, but if you when you slow it down, they're both going for the ball. Um, yeah, it, it, and I don't know why they it was it was a bunch of confusion. Why they stopped the play? They blew the whistle, inverted whistle, and then they uh, they said helmet to helmet, but it wasn't helmet to helmet. They were, they were both actually going for the ball. Right. Good play there. That's yeah. uh, is that a Shari on that one? No, it was Galloway. Oh no, it was Fleming. On that one, he got a good job. He came in the safety and kind of got in there. But I think this is um, Ryan Downs has a nice touchdown. Nice run, yeah. yeah. We were just talking about that the other day. He said he's uh, he's decept. He told me he's deceptively, deceptively fast. <laughs> he but he is, is fast. He but is look, fast. but he's a long strider too. It's that you know he's. We said he water. He's water boy fast. <laughs> you know, like the water yeah. the water boy. Yeah. Yeah. But he is. He is. He is fast. He is a. He's a great athlete. Is what it is. I don't have. He's had quite a, a few long runs. big yeah, runs this year. Twenty yard. Yeah. There. There's a Peevely after a little bit of an altercation there. So fifty six twenty four was the final. And coach, like I said, you start from the highlights. Pretty complete game by by the Indians on on all on all phases of the of the game. Yeah, played well, and it's um, it's you know starting to show off. I think we we were having a like a silent um, strength or what you, whatever you say, say kind of confidence yeah. of what we're trying to do. Um, the kids are playing faster. Well, I think we've kind of, you know, watered down our what we're doing offensively, so they're able to play faster as well. So that's a good thing. Got a good rhythm right now. Right. I would say that for sure. With that, we'll take a break. Come back and talk about this week's opponent, the Sarasota Sailors, final district matchup of the of the of the season, and of course, obviously, the, if you win, you are the district champion. Right. So that'll be a great thing. With that, take a break. Hear from Bogies and the John Pika Coaches Show. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And we're back here at Bogies for the John Peacock Coaches Show. And Coach, uh, Friday night, Powell Davis Stadium, 730 kickoff. And uh, Sarasota Sailors come into town at a district, different district matchup and uh, winning your district champions. Yeah, and it assures you a first-round home playoff game. So, uh, big-time game for us. It also, it'll be the third time, third district championship in a row, which will be tied for the most in school it's history. It's happened a few times, yeah. Yeah, we've been yeah. we've been district champs three times, multiple, multiple times. We've never been able to do it four times in a row. But um, so we'll tie a school record for for three district championships in a row. So hopefully. Um, we could get it done Friday night. We'll play a good Sarasota team. Um, I know their record is very poor at 0-6, but they've actually been in every single game. They played Manatee tight. Uh, they the you only said re- Coach Phillips has them well coached as well. You said It that. looks like they're very well coached. The kids are playing extremely hard. looks like they've bought into what they're doing over there. Uh, very impressed with what Coach Phillips has put on the field. So, um, but, you know, but also that's hard to, to relay to – teenage kids that yeah. see all they see is 0-6. Yeah. They don't see that they've been in every single game they played. So um, we just got to make sure that we don't approach it like we did against um, Arm- Armwood and right. think we can just go out there and roll our helmet out there and get a win. So we're going to have to show up. Uh, I was able to give our kids off on Wednesday this week. We'll um, get a little mental break, a little physical break where they you know just went home after school. So 
um, I'm a big believer in um, keeping the mind and body fresh, especially when you're planning on making a big run in the playoffs. So um, you don't get those opportunities too often. And then you got now you got to you're right. you get, after this game, and then you still got the rest of your schedule to stay on that pace where you're improving every week. Right. So you know we got to try to take take those breaks and um, give those kids rest where their where their bodies and their and their minds. Um, you know, especially being in the quarter, gives them some time to do their schoolwork and not have to worry about football on, on a, a day during the middle of the yeah. week. And then we can come back and um, get back together on Thursday, uh, which is today. And we had a great practice today. And then we're going to um, play Friday night. And I'm, hopefully we can continue on our upward trend. Offensively, defensively, what does Sarah sort of bring that maybe we're not? Well, offensively, you know, I, th- I want to say, like, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to say and hard to make this kind of comment because – because they are 0 and 6, but I, I really like their quarterback. Like he's really really athletic. He makes a lot of plays. He keeps a lot of plays alive. Uh, they have the running back uh, is a tough running back, Joe Ziegler. Um, he was there last year. He runs the ball extremely hard. Uh, so you know they, they're and they're and they're I, all, best I can say is like they're just like really really scrappy. Right. Right. You know, I, don't, I don't know if that's a, a you're seeing the effort, just not the results. I don't, I don't know if that's a compliment or a non-compliment, but they, they are playing really, really hard. And the kids, I can tell the kids have bought into what they're doing. And I, then that can be hard, especially when you're 0-6 and you, get, and you have them buying in and they're playing that hard. And, it, you know, they're, it, it just looks like he's doing it the right way. Yeah, that's good to hear. I mean, like I said, we've met him before. He's yeah. like a super great guy, got a lot of, you know, got a lot of pedigree. Although he did, he did give our film the rear view. I'm not, I'm not, you know, <laughs> well, not real happy about there that. There you go. It's, it's, not everybody's perfect. He's, right? Yeah, he's not perfect. So we, now we know that Josh Phillips is not perfect. I know he's really good looking. And he, 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 he's, he's a Yale graduate. Yale grad, he's, NFL, wrote, written, he's written yep. a book. Yeah. But he's not perfect, people. Yeah, so, but, take but, that from, but we like him. Yeah, yeah we do like him. We do like him. Guy. But he's not perfect. With that, we'll take our final break of the night and come back and talk about where, how, when you can watch the game on Friday night at Powell Davis Stadium. Back here at Bogies in a few minutes. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. Back here with the John Peacock Coach Zone. And Coach, Friday night, 7.30, Powell Davis Stadium. We want them all there. We, that, we, it's about showing up to the game uh, on Friday should night. should be great weather. Oh, I'm it's telling you. It's been feeling yeah. great outside. We've had really good crowds. I think that, you know, we've, we've – um, you know, our, our uh, fan base has been doing a nice job at the game, and then our kids love it, and uh, hopefully we're putting out a, a good product for people yeah. to see. Light shows, you yeah. name it, cannons, you got smoke, yeah. you got all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, come out. It's, it's exciting, not only from the f- on, the pl- on the field itself, but in the stands, the whole thing, the atmosphere is fantastic, right. and it seems to be building and building and building every game. If you can't, if you can't make it, obviously you can watch the live stream, the VSN, network of Auburn Aspect Media. They do broadcast the game, the game live stream it. So if you can't make it, uh, or at least... They don't listen. just broadcast it. They do a, they're yeah. unbelievable. The it looks job good. They do. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I talk, but, but I don't, I mean, look, it's, I, I don't it's, make it look good. It's I just very, talk. very professional, and it, it, they really do a nice job. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. So if you, if you have relatives up north, I know we've, we've we heard from people from all over the place. I think we said we've been, we've been we're worldwide now. I think we're almost, might be even that one. So yeah, we had it, some people watching uh, in uh, Canada. I know that. Yeah, so I think I think one time Australia Alaska. as well too. So they're all over the place yep. watching us. So get an opportunity to come out to Powell Davis Stadium. We want you there. But if not, there's an alternative. With that, another another coach's show is in the in the can here, coach. And uh, looking forward, like I said, look forward to Friday night. Yep. Thank you, and thank you to Viber Media Aspects, and hopefully uh, we get a good crowd right now. No, no doubt. With that. For John Peacock, I'm John Masoni. We'll see you here next time on the John Peacock Coaches Show.
game began. I worked all summer to be a champion. At Venice High School, all we do is win. Man, it feel good to be a 